We all know what modern Minecraft looks like. If you were to load up a brand new world, you'd have a pretty good idea of how the terrain typically generates, and you'd recognise the biomes around you. Now imagine you travel to a different universe, and you find a copy of Minecraft, but it seems to be a bit different. That is what the Better Than Adventure mod feels like. This is a mod for Minecraft Beta 1.7.3, which aims to keep the feeling of old Minecraft updates while adding improvements as well as lots more features such as new biomes and items. Better Than Adventure is described as more of a fork of Minecraft rather than an addition to it. It's a perfect mod if you're an old school Minecraft player and like the feeling of the more simple gameplay but want some extra features to mess around with. This mod is really interesting to me, in some ways it feels like what the game could have been to this day if it took a different path in development, maybe if Notch kept working on the game himself or a different team took over, then the game might have turned out more like this. I'm going to start a survival world on this mod so we can experience it how it was intended and explore some of the features it has to offer. Later on we can check out everything it has in creative mode, but I want to start off with survival to try and find some of the features myself. Oh, look at this! It looks so much like the old days. It's even misty in the distance. What's my skin? I think- Oh! Okay, the button I usually have to change into third person is my render distance button, that's weird. I don't know where my skin's gone, I'm just Steve. Look at that, wait! This thing has Optifine Zoom, okay. You can already see some new blocks up there. Don't know what that is, but it's not stone. Wow. Oh, they have cherry blossom trees. They did that before Mojang could. It's very weird to see a tall birch biome in beta Minecraft. So we can't run, I don't think. Yeah, we don't have a hunger bar. So this video is just going to be me walking around slowly, I guess. We'll chop down some wood. That's always got to be the first thing you do. We can make some basic tools. I'm not sure what the thing on the left of my hotbar is. What does it do? Oh! Whoa, that's so cool, look! If I press tab, it cycles through each of these layers and I can put it as my hotbar. Look at this. That's a really useful feature, actually. Can't believe Mojang haven't put that in now. Now that I've seen it, that feature just makes so much sense. Whoa, what is that? It looks like iron, kind of, but the textures are a bit weird. I'm gonna go make a stone pickaxe and see what it actually is. Oh, there's a guidebook. All of this stuff looks brand new. I don't know what it is. Are these like dyed chests? I think that right there is a quiver for your bow so you can store arrows in it. What? Is that a mob spawner? The cows look different. The cows are just brown. Hello. Oh my gosh, it dropped a lot of leather. Look, it's so pretty with the old Minecraft beta terrain generation mixed in with some new trees like that and the new biomes. I'm loving this mod so far. It'd be amazing to start a series on it or something. Could do that on my second channel. There's a quick shout out to my other channel. Guys, look what I found. You know this is my favourite item in the old Minecraft. The rose! Every time I find this, I'm like, why did they ever remove it? It was an iconic flower when it was in the game. They went and ruined it for the bush. Let's find out what this actually was. Is it just iron? Oh, it's raw iron ore. Oh yeah, we've got the old gravel texture. It might be kind of hard to see in the dark. That's interesting. We've got raw iron ore, which is a very modern feature of Minecraft. So like, they've mixed a few of the newer features with the really old features, and so far it's working really well. It doesn't feel weird in any way. It's a perfectly nice way to play Minecraft. Oh okay, yeah, let's place down the gravel so you can see it in the light. There it is, the old Minecraft gravel texture. It's not the most interesting block, but I think I still prefer it to the new gravel. I'm not a fan of either of them, to be fair. Whoa, they have stats! Ah, <gasps> Fool, 36 out of... 100 fire six out of 100 that's how much it protects you against each of these things okay i love cycling through the inventory now look at that that would be good for pvp as well you could have a bunch of potions in your hot bar i've been rambling on so long it's gone dark i need to find a few more sheep to get a bed actually i don't want to fight this night i'm not ready was that a chicken wait there's a chicken right there but there's a red one the chickens have different colors whoa this would be so simple for Minecraft to just put in. Okay, it's really dark now. I'm starting to get worried. And there's a skeleton over there. <gasps> Are those fireflies? What is it over there? Do they add fireflies even though they're poisonous to frogs? Oh my god, it's a muddy pig. <laughs> Still gonna kill it, even though it's cute. All right, let's take on this skeleton. Hello. Oh, come closer. Yeah. All right, we're fine. We got rid of the mob. Please no more spawn in, I don't even have torches. That's really pretty. Why could Minecraft not just add these in? It's just one pixel, but it adds so much atmosphere to the game. Ah, oh, okay, finally some coal. Quick, we'll make torch. Only four torches. <sighs> There's a cave here. Do I wanna go in? Not yet, I wanna get all of the coal first. Oh wait, let's see what this new block is. 
Cobbled granite. That'll be fun for building. From what I've seen about this mod, there are quite a few building blocks that they added in. I'd love to see people's creations on this mod and then compare how different the builds are to the vanilla Minecraft. Let's go into here now and explore because it's night time. We might as well be somewhere dark. Oh, we just came out again. Ooh. Ah, run. So what's this? Is that granite again? No, it's a new one. Cobbled limestone. This is the best mob farm. <laughs> you can't hit me. Okay, I'm going to try this crafting recipe out. I don't know what dyeing some wood could do. I feel like it's going to make a dyed chest. Let's see. That would be awesome. Oh no, it dyes the wood. So I can do that with any color. That's really cool. Would that make a dyed chest? It does. I want this in vanilla Minecraft right now. You can make such a cool multicolored chest room with that. Or just a multicolored wood room. I do like that in vanilla we're starting to get some new types of wood. We have the blue one from the nether and the red one. And then we have the cherry, which is a nice light pink color. We're starting to get really deep. I'm not sure if there's any new ores in the game. I have a feeling there's going to be copper or silver or something. What's this? Mossy stone. It doesn't look too much like stone to me. It looks kind of basically all moss. Then you've got the little speckles of stone, I guess. Oh, this staircase I made is really annoying. It does not function properly. Got my sword ready. It's still night time, but I don't even care. I'm going to go fight everything. Oh no. Oh no. Run. <gasps> what have I got myself into? Oh, I took the render distance down. That's terrifying. I'm being chased by a creeper and two skeletons to an island I can see with two more skeletons. Oh my god, thank god it's getting light. I'm just going to, like, stay here. Ah, there's one over there. I'm going to stay here and make a furnace, maybe cook something. I don't have enough cobblestone for a furnace, oh no. I need to cook my food. I really don't want to die in this video. I'm not going to embarrass myself like that. Oh, oh God. Don't blow up my food. Oh, there's a zombie over there. I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. Oh, what? Cloth. Oh, they drop pieces of their clothing. Also, I just noticed, don't zombies have the same clothes as Steve? Creeper. Oh man. That was close. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I saw him. And then I went off to kill the other creeper and he came right there. I said I wasn't going to die in this video. God. You have to subscribe if I don't die a second time in this video. Now it's raining as well. No, I hate the rain. Oh, look. Gunpowder is called sulfur. I think that's a feature of old Minecraft beta. I can't remember. I feel like it did used to be called sulfur and they changed it to gunpowder. I've just had such a good idea. We can go exploring with a boat. Is boats, yep, the, the normal crafting recipe. No shovel needed like in Bedrock Edition. Iron tools, here we go. Get rid of that stupid stone pickaxe. Don't need it anymore. Let's go, full armor. Not full iron armor, but it's good enough. All right, time to boat away. No, no, come back. <laughs> I forgot how annoying boats were in Minecraft beta. And it barely turns. Oh, and it goes the direction I'm facing. I'm not sure which way to go, but this looks cool. I'm just looking around for some new biomes. I know there's quite a few new ones, but we might have to hop into creative to find them for this video. I just want the bloody rain to stop. It's really not nice to look at. This world is very watery. There's a lot of mini islands around. Whoa, look at this. This is the perfect spot to build a house at. Oh my god. Oh, I love this area with the overhanging cliffs. <gasps> oh, it goes further? There's like a perfect straight line going into this bit of river. Oh! Run! Run! <laughs> What's this? I have no clue what I've just found. It looks like a dungeon of some sort. Oh god, that creeper got destroyed. Okay, if I go under... No. Oh, I'm just going to keep going. Not Wait. Yes, underwater attack. Oh, we need to eat. That was too close for my liking. Torch. Go. I need more torch, right? So this is like a dungeon? I didn't even know they had these in this game. Oh, it's a trap. I'm just going to steal the stuff from that. What's this item? A motion sensor. No way, it's like a tripwire hook, but better. Wait, is the creeper going to get in the boat? Ah, no, I just want to kill it. Is it a library? Looks like a stronghold. I can't believe I just stumbled upon this randomly. <gasps> oh. What? There looks to be spikes down there. I do not want to check that out. Are there any chests, maybe? I feel like there should be loot somewhere. What's down here? Oh, oh, there's more. Oh my god, we've stumbled upon the bosses. What the hell? Bits of their armor fall off. 
This is crazy. Not only do we have cloth, we get... Ah, be careful. Got to put some torches around. So we can take pieces of their chainmail. I'm guessing you can finally craft chainmail armor. Yo, first gold. Do I even need sand? Nope. This looks like a classic Minecraft dungeon and then you turn around and see all of this. It's like a mixture between the dungeon and the stronghold. It's weird. Golden arrows. More zombies. At least they don't have armor. I'm going to break this just in case. Oh, look at that. An explosion of cloth. Music disc. <gasps> Diamonds. What? A golden quiver? Can I equip that? Oh, you can. Wait, look at this. Whoa. How do I add arrows to it? I'm not sure if you can or not. Let's go further down. Um, let's try not to die here. Make a little staircase. Another one of my terrible staircases. Oh, wait, I want to set this off. How close do you have to be? Ah! That scared me. It wasn't working for a second. Okay, it's also a dead end. I think I got all the loot from this place. That was really fun. I want to hop into creative mode now. But before we do that, let's craft a jukebox and we can play this record. I don't know if it's like just one of the classic music discs or they would have put their own one in. Let's try. Oh, it's far. That's one of my favorite music discs in the game. I'm happy we found that. Oh, oh, that's the thing I dug out. I thought it was a secret passage. I'm so dumb. But now that we've done this dungeon, which I was actually really surprised I found, I wasn't expecting to find something like this. And then we'll hop into a creative world and see what there is to mess around with. So we have a super flat biome. There's even bushes on the floor. So there's a slight difference here. We've got wood on the floor. Yippee! Oh, look at this. There's a new type of tree. This tree looks very dead. I don't even know what it is. Eucalyptus, no way, they have eucalyptus trees. I think eucalyptus is what koalas eat, I'm not sure. And it's really not a very useful food for them, but it's the only thing they eat. So look at the inventory, we've got all of these types of wood, yellow. I like the red one quite a lot, the yellow one too. What's this? Marble pillar. Oh, that's like quartz if it wasn't from the nether. Cobbled permafrost and permafrost. Slate we have. We have marble, granite, limestone, basalt, and stone. Ooh, lapis lazuli bricks. Oh, and gold bricks. Limestone brick, basalt bricks. You can make bricks out of pretty much anything. These bricks look like they'd be good at making a bathroom or a train station or something like that. I've seen these bricks somewhere in real life. You could build a bank vault with this as the walls. They go pretty well together. It seems like there's a ton of stuff for building in this mod. I wonder where you get baked mud from. Is that just putting it in a furnace? There's eucalyptus. So here's the new trees. We got a cherry tree, pine tree, eucalyptus tree, and mossy oak tree. Pine just looks like spruce, right? Oh, what? There's an oak sapling and a retro oak sapling. I gotta see what these look like. Oh my god, look at all the ores. Any new ores? Or is it just... Oh, there's nether coal. Well, that's probably just coal, right? Block of steel? That probably means you can craft steel with iron and something, maybe coal. Olivine. What is olivine? I have no clue how you would make that. Here's the redstone stuff. Cobblestone pressure plate. That's gonna be overpowered for trapping people. Because most people don't build with stone, so it's harder to disguise it. But if everyone's using cobblestone for their floor, you could put one of these anywhere and no one would notice. So those are the spike traps we saw in the dungeon. Glass trap door. Whoa, I like the sound of that. I'll check it out. What is a trommel? I've never heard of a trommel in real life. Oh my god, pile of leaves. Igneous netherrack looks good. I feel like that could be a useful ore, like netherite. Oh, nice. They have colorful lamps. Let's see if they make a purple light. I'm not really expecting it to. No, it's just normal light, but it's a purple thingy. How are we going to get out of here? <laughs> I guess I'll use the trapdoors to pillar out of here. It's very weird having a glass tra trapdoor. Oh! Oh, I am flying. What? Oh, you can fly if you press shift. Oh, we can see under the world. Is that a mob spawner over there? That looks like a regular mob spawner, not like the one we found. Yeah, it is. Ah, so they have mob spawners as well as like big dungeons. Cocoa beans. I remember when they were in those chests. I think that was the only way to get cocoa beans was from a mob spawner. This is like the regular items we already have, I think. Ooh, nether coal. I wonder how you get steel ingots. I didn't see any steel ore, so maybe you have to craft it. Explosive charge. I like the sound of that. There's a calendar. That's kind of cool. Olivine. I don't know where you would find olivine. That looks fun as well. Pebble. Cherries. Bucket of ice cream. That's the thing I was trying to work out what it was in the crafting menu. Oh, the basket's something cool I want to show you guys. Um, I saw it in the trailer. Ice skates. Oh my god. I kind of want to try those out as well. Ah, I'm not really ice skating, am I? 
I don't understand. Am I ice skating? I feel like I'm not ice skating. <laughs> I'm going so slowly. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. I wish it would stop melting. I think I figured out how you do it. You go sideways. No. Oh, can it stop melting, please? I just want to check out these like Okay. Oh, if you press side to side when you're walking forwards, I think you go quickly. <laughs> That's so fun. I wish I had a big patch of ice. Also, I'm confused. What is this thing over here? Oh, is it just a patch of fireflies? Let's get a jar. Oh, I got some. Green firefly lantern. <gasps> oh, look at that. It's decoration. I wasn't sure if it was like, if you held it, it would light up or not. So I want to show off the basket. We'll try it here. It works kind of like a hopper, I think. If you put an item in, it should get picked up by the basket after a couple seconds. And there you go. You just right click and I guess you get your items back. It's like a hopper but less advanced and it can be useful to put under your mob farms to get all the items from. But that's a pretty cool way of adding hoppers into the game without being too complicated. Whoa, so that's a cherry tree. We've seen those already. I want to know what a retro oak sapling is compared to a normal one. Oh! Oh, the retro ones are like the really bright leaves. I remember those in Minecraft Alpha. Yeah, just a spruce tree. I'm not sure about a shrub sapling what that would do. Here's the eucalyptus tree we've seen. Now, a shrub. I think it is just a shrub. I don't know if it grows. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, it's the new biome. Here it is. It looks kind of like Minecraft's Mesa biome. So it's got the eucalyptus trees and it's like red sand. That is all I'm going to show for this mod in this video. Check out the description for a link to download it for yourself. This is a really fun mod for anyone who has that nostalgia for old beta Minecraft. Or if you're just looking for a kind of different experience to play survival, it's more chilled out, but it's still got quite a lot of features for you to check out if you find beta Minecraft a bit too minimalistic. So go and enjoy this mod for yourself if you can. Thank you for making it to the end. You guys are the real fans. Please subscribe if you haven't already and like the video to support the channel. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.